25, when Jacob and Esau was born of Isaac, read. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. What is this signifying? Read the next verse. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. So at the end of the world or rulership or in end times, Esau would be ruling. Esau is the end of the world. So at the end of the world, Esau would have dominion. Now, mind you, the promise that the elder shall serve the younger have not been fulfilled yet. Esau is the end of the world. So who's ruling in the end? Esau. The EU, the European powers, they're ruling. They're the end of the world. So I don't understand how people are teaching out there that Esau got destroyed somewhere and he's just disappeared off the face of the earth. When the Bible says he's at the end of the world. And who followed? Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. To show you that once Esau fall, Jacob rule will happen without separation. That's what it signified, his hand taking hold of Esau's heel. There's no separation. The head came out, that's the beginning. The foot is the end. And no sooner the foot fall, the hand of dominion of Jacob. Judah holding the scepter, ruling under Christ and the twelve disciples. And at that time, when Jacob is set up, after the end of this world, the prophecy will be fulfilled in Genesis 25 of the elder serving the younger. Now, if you believe that Esau is not in the earth or have, have been destroyed like some people are teaching, at what time did this prophecy get fulfilled that Esau served Jacob? Where is it? It hasn't happened yet. You're going to find out that Esau is ruling the world. And we're going to identify how they got into Europe and sometimes hide themselves under the seat of Japheth. And I wonder, why... There's nothing wrong with it. If it doesn't matter who you are and everybody's the same, why hide the fact that you're Esau? Why hide it? If everything is fine, why identify the black people as ham, identify other people according to the Bible who they are, but never identify Esau? Why? Because there's a pending judgment. There's a pending judgment. And I notice in... I notice in the churches, they defame Jacob. Mm -hmm. They call Jacob the deceiver in the churches. Why? Who set up the churches? They make Jacob out to be the bad guy when the promises was given to his mother before he was born. It wasn't his fault. He got the promises. It wasn't his fault. He was born to have the promises. They try to blame him like, oh, he was the deceiver. He was the evil one. Okay? Now let's get into it. Later down when you read in the chapter, it shows you that Esau took hold of this red pottage. Okay? He ate rare food, and therefore he was called Edom from that day. Edom means red. When you read the next chapter over, is when, is when uh, Jacob, the next two chap chapters, is when Jacob actually received the blessing from his father Isaac on his deathbed by putting skins on his hand and posing as Esau so that he can get what was promised to him before he was born. Okay? Now Esau was totally upset. He was fighting since he was in the womb for this birthright, for this blessing. And at the very end, he loses it to his brother. So because of that, indignation fell in Esau's heart against his brother Jacob. And he said, once the days of my father is finished and my father die, I'm coming after Jacob. This is what they're thinking. If we destroy Jacob, we can set off Bible prophecy. If we take Jacob out of the way, we are the firstborn by default, therefore we'll keep the kingdom. They were deceived into thinking that. But let's go, let, let's go into identifying how they actually got into Europe. Okay, they didn't start in Europe. 
A matter of fact, let's see where Esau resided. Go to Genesis 36. Let's go to Genesis 36. Let's go to Genesis 36. Let's start at the first verse. Genesis chapter 36 verse 1. Now these are the generations of Esau. Who was Edom? Hold on one second here. One second. Got a line one more up here. going to Genesis 36 to show you where Esau originally inhabited. Read the first verse, read it. Genesis chapter 36 verse 1. Now these are the generations of Esau who was Edom. So Esau is Edom. Okay. Read on. Verse 2. Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan. Esau took the wives of the daughters of Canaan. Now, you might wonder well, hold up. If Esau is the red ones or the Caucasian, how can he lay down with a Canaanite or what we would call a South African, which are dark skinned sons of Ham, and begot Caucasian or white children? When the dark skin is the predominant color, that if a dark skinned person lay with a Caucasian, Usually there's some hue to the child. They get darker. We're going to show you what happened in Canaan so that that curse can continue in the earth so that, so that Esau cannot hide himself amongst the people. We're going to show you what happened. Actually, the places where Esau linked in with Canaan were struck with leprosy so the people turned the same color. So when Israel was on their way into Canaan, the Most High told them how to take the leprosy out. Go to Genesis, the 13th chapter. Genesis 14. Genesis 14. And read, read the verse 34. So Esau started linking in with the Africans, but he couldn't take that mark off of him. He went amongst some of the Canaanites, and the Canaanites was struck with leprosy. Leprosy is not what they're teaching in a lot of these uh, 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 institutions which were set up by the same people. Leprosy is when you get uh, a spot or start turning real white and then it spreads through your whole body. Once you become totally looking Caucasian, the Bible call it a clean leper. A clean leper. So when people went into these areas that was cursed, they had to go to the priest to get the curse off of them so that they can turn their hue back. We see people like that today. They get one little white spot, and then it starts spreading through the body. That's what happened in, in the land of Canaan. So these are the people or wives that Esau ended up taking, and the Most High just turned her just like him. Read Leviticus 14 and 34. Leviticus chapter 14 verse 34. Go ahead. When ye be come into the land of Canaan, which I give to you for a possession, and I put the plague of le leprosy in a house of the land of your possession. He says, and I put the plague of leprosy in a house of the land of your possession. What is leprosy? Hold that and get numbers. Get Numbers 10 and 12. What is leprosy according to the Bible? 
Let's see what leprosy is. 